comment about the free will. Okay. Yeah. I have read somewhere sometime that before we are born, we are making a life contract. We agree okay. uh, what we will do in a new life and who we will meet and so on. But the problem is we are often not doing what we have promised to do. That's why we have to be born again and again and again. And okay. no, one, no one interferes with us because we have a free will. Okay. So this is something you've read or something you have come to understand on your own? No, I have read this. Right. Long ago. Yeah. yeah. It's a great it's a great concept. It's a great idea. Yes, well, we we have to be reborn to make up with people again and again and again. Yeah. We you know, we can try and see what happens. Yeah. They're all great ideas. The whole idea about reincarnation, the whole idea that before I was born, I had a contract with God. I mean, I can tell you a lot of different scenarios, and some of them I've said it in my teachings. Mm -hmm. But they're all great ideas and they're great stories and concepts. Mm -hmm. But we still have a free will. It appears that we have a free will. It just appears to be. Yes. You know, it looks like it. It's like, okay, I'm deciding to pick up my kombucha tea. I picked it up and I'm going to put it down. And again, I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to put it down. And it appears that I am willing it, right? Mm -hmm. But what about that other thousand times that I wanted to go this direction and I ended up in this direction? What about all those times that I didn't get what I wanted and I put my life into it and I tried to get there and I never got there? What happened to my free will then? Yeah. You... I have no intention of convincing anybody to believe what I say. I recommend you examine it for yourself. This has to become an understanding, a direct understanding and knowing that we find this for ourselves. It cannot be something that we're believing in. Because if we're just believing in it, it's, it's blind. It's same story as believing into heaven and hell. It's a story they've told us. Or even to believe in the Muslim God or Christian God or Jewish God. It's a concept. We need to examine things for ourselves and come to our direct experience of that which is true. How can I live in this world and have my own free will? What is free will? Free will. You have to examine that. If right now I decide to get in my car and go to visit my family, which is 45 minutes, an hour away from here, with respect to the traffic, I get in my car and I will the car turning the switch on to start the car and the car starts. What if the time it doesn't start? 
So where is my free will then? The car did not start. So the car decided not to cooperate. How much of a free will do I have then? And then, okay, let's say the car decides, because a car is made out of 10,000 pieces, give and take. All these pieces, in the moment you sit in your car and you start the car, starter, battery, generator, regulator, electrical system, transmission, engine, water pump, fuel pump, everything has to work that day. If one of them say, I don't want to work today, the car doesn't start, okay? So let's say I sit in a car, I start the car, and I start to drive. What about all these traffic lights? And I'm going through traffic lights. They have to work perfectly that day. The, the light is red, then it turns to green. What if they don't work that day? What if there's a major accident on a freeway and I can't make it to my family? Where is my free will? How can I will that? What if as I'm driving to go visit my family, there's a blizzard, there's a big storm and one of these telephone poles fall or a tree falls and blocks the road? Where is my free will? So many different elements have to cooperate with each other for me to simply get in a car and drive to my family. A million other elements have to say yes. The car, my car works, traffic lights work, there's no accident on a freeway, my body's working. What if I, all of a sudden, something happens to me? I get an extreme headache or stomach ache. How do you control that? How much of that is your free will? How many times it happened that you decided to go to a party or a concert or an event, and all of a sudden you got sick? Right before you leave, you start feeling really bad. Something happened. You ate something bad. And then you are not feeling good. So you stay home. How do you will that? How much of that is your free will? So when you examine it, you see to do anything in life, the entire existence has to cooperate and say yes. We are supporting you to do this. So don't believe what I'm telling you. Don't blindly accept what I say. I would also always like you to examine it for yourself. Do an examination. Only through examination, you discover it. It was a great question, uh, comment, uh, Marit. I'm so glad you brought this up. But upon closer examination, upon investigation, the more I investigate, the more I observe and check, I see, oh my God, I've never had any free will. Because where do these ideas come from? Like I have an idea that I want to become a businessman or I have an idea that I want to buy real estate. I have an idea that I want to be a doctor or I want to be a nurse or whatever. Where does the desire come from? 